Hey guys, hope everyone's doing well. It's Justin. Um, I just wanted to give a video overview of the button box. Some guys have said they want to see it in action. And <clears throat> I mean, of course it operates just like any other button box, but um, I know the video can give you a little more detail. Um, so this is one that's about to get shipped out. And as you can see, the faceplate has been customized on this one. It's not a standard option that's on the website or any of the ones I've shared. Um, this one has the Ohio flag on it, and the gentleman put his last name on it. Uh, but you could put a uh, VTC logo up there, your name, uh, the background can be literally anything you want. You can send me whatever. I can apply it to the faceplate. We can change the font, the font color, the label, uh, the labeling layout. Literally anything can be changed. That's one thing I wanted to make sure that I did was make sure that it's as customizable as possible. And along with that is the changeable lighting. Um, I, when I bought my last button box, I hated that I had to choose one color that I was stuck with. So this one has a remote. Uh, let you even turn the lights off if you want. Um, gives you 15 color options. And then it has four effects that just basically like fade from one color to the next and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so plenty of options there. Um, I was happy we were able to make that work. And the lights hook up to the processing board inside of the box and only one USB cable comes out the back. That's the entire thing runs off of one USB. Um, there's no external battery pack or anything like that. So the face plates uh, are made, they're interchangeable. They're held on with reusable adhesive dots and extra face plates are available on the website that you can order and uh, when you order a new faceplate, it'll include new adhesive dots as well. I mean, they are reusable, but I'll, I always throw some in there. Um, as far, and, and really I'll tell you what the faceplates are made out of. Uh, they're actually, if you think of a refrigerator magnet, it's like a, it's like a, it's like one big magnet. It's one big refrigerator magnet that is printed on and then all of the holes for the buttons is punched out and then it's laminated with five mil lamination, which is really thick. So you can wipe it off or whatever it can handle um, for, for any reason you ever get any uh, light water or something on it, it should be able to handle the basic stuff. Um, so, this box has what I call the custom knobs. Um, it has, these are 3D printed. Uh, the, the whole box is 3D printed. I designed the entire thing from scratch. Um, the tractor and trailer writing is recessed into the knob and then filled with black paint to help it stand out. And if it's recessed like that, continuous use, it's not gonna fade off over time. I had that problem with my last box. My labels had faded off, so this way, you're not gonna have any fading. It's real paint, it's recessed, you won't have a problem. Um, I wanted to try and use the best quality items that I could while trying to keep the price competitive for you guys. These are stainless steel buttons. They feel really nice, I really like them. Uh, I wanted to go with those for the more used, the heavily used buttons. Uh, these ones here are, you know, just plastic buttons. They they work fine, but they're for uh, engine brake stage up and down. I know they're not going to be as heavily used, so to keep the price down, uh, threw those in there. Has a rotary encoder to increase and decrease your cruise control speed. Um, so over here is kind of your sections. You've got cruise control and engine brake control, kind of over here by itself. Um, you have the latching fuel button. You press it once, it stays in. When you're done fueling, you press it again and it comes out and you're done. Um, you know, the, um, the ignition comes with two keys. Uh, this blue that's on here is a protective sheet film that 
you can take off when you get it. I ship it with it. That way it stays protected. But, um, so yeah, we'll, I'll go ahead and run through it here in action. And it comes with a six foot long USB cord. So how about we do, first we'll do the ignition. It's electric on and and you'll notice I'm holding it down. I don't have this one because I'm just testing it. Attached to the desk, obviously. It does come with two 90 degree brackets. They're metal and there's holes pre-drilled into the back. If you wish to attach them, it comes with screws and these to attach to the back and then you can attach it to the desk or you know, whatever you want to do with it. So it does include those. So we'll take a look at our lights here. There's our markers. I know it's not dark out, but flip it again. You got headlights, high beams over here on the rocker. We got beacons up top. Then on this trailer, you should have drop axles. And one thing I did on this box that I wanted to make sure I did was we have drop axle for the trailer and drop axle for the truck. So I wanted to, before my other box had just one drop axle and I always hated that because sometimes I had a truck and a trailer with drop axles. So you couldn't do it separately. So now we have two separate toggles for them. So right there's your trailer. And this truck does not have drop axles. <laughs> so, but you get the idea. Uh, let's do our flashers. And the toggle switches on this are not, uh, they're not just playing the cheapest toggle switches I could find actually uh, listed as heavy duty. The toggles on them are bigger than a standard toggle switch. Um, so once again, I didn't want to buy super cheap switches either. So I thought my way through everything on this the best I could. Um, and I wanted to try and price it better than the other ones out there. Um, so. We'll set our brake. Works just like how you think it would. Here's the trailer. No sound with that one, but trust me, it's working. <laughs> then you got your uh, horn. Our map button. Once again, this is what I have it mapped to and what I have it labeled as or what this gentleman chose to have it labeled as. You can literally do anything you want to it. Um, there's an option on the website to write in what you want changed, whatever. It's completely custom. Display, I have set to the route advisor over here. If you have a button labeled display, you could also have it mapped to changing your dashboard display. You could do that too. So, but yeah, and then you shut the truck off. Yeah, we'll get on the road here and we'll do the, we'll use the engine brake with the stages.
do cruise control first. Flip our cruise on. Right there, my foot's off the pedal, cruise is on. Now we're going, we're only going about 45 miles an hour, but let's say you want to take it up, just use the rotary encoder. You can hear it kicks in, it's going to take you up. I have it set to go up five miles an hour. You can change that in the game. And then the same thing would happen for the other direction. Take your cruise speed down. If your cruise is on and you have to hit your brakes for some reason and you want to go back to the speed you were at, push in on the rotary encoder and let go. It's going to take you back to the speed you're at. My foot's off the pedal right now. So we'll turn cruise off. Now the engine brake. You just flip on and then you control. There's three stages. You can control the stages with this plus and minus button right next to it. So, engine brake on, stage up, there it goes, we're already at our highest stage. So yeah, as far as this truck, that's about everything I could show you on it, it works just like any other button box, but just wanted to show you guys uh, the box in action. Some people were requesting it, so there you go. You guys have a good one. Thanks for watching.